Hello YouTube and welcome to another unboxing video. This time we're going to go through and unbox an Akara magnetic sensor. These are generally used on doors and windows to determine whether they're open or closed. They're brilliant for automating lights inside a cupboard or you could include them as part of an alarm system if you're using Home Assistant. We're going to add this sensor into Home Assistant using the Zigbee Home Automation integration or ZHA integration. So let's get on with unboxing the device. So this is the Akara magnetic sensor or door window sensor. As you can see on the box it's used for determining if doors or windows are open and closed. Um, you can see it's actually quite a big box. I was genuinely surprised when I received it in the post. It's nearly seven centimeters wide, nine centimeters tall, and then five centimeters deep. Uh, I will admit I received it and panicked a little bit over the size of it. You can see it's wrapped in this plastic. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of the plastic and then go on to opening the box itself. So it just opens as standard. You can see at the top we have spare 3M tape. So if we wanted to remount either the control unit or the magnet at a later date, we can do. And then it's actually quite nicely packaged, containing with a, a separate box containing the two units themselves, an instruction manual and nothing else. As with all these products, the instruction manuals in multiple languages, but we don't need that for now. So we have here, this is the electronic part, this is the magnet part, and there is nothing else left in the packaging. You can see, once you've got them out, they're actually quite small um, compared to the size of the boxes. At the bottom of the uh, electronical part, we do have the reset button or pairing mode button. On the side, you have the Aquara logo and a little mark. And you can see on the magnet, there is also the mark which you line up, which helps it trigger. At the bottom, we have a little slit for opening the device to allow you to change the battery. So if we just go ahead and open it, and you can see there we have a small 1632 battery in the unit. So there is a battery shape, so you know which way around to place it and putting it back together. The little dot here is a indication light, so if we press and hold, it should flash to indicate it's gone into pairing mode. So that's now ready for pairing. I have one of the Sonoff uh, sensors just here. So you can see the difference in size. Just leave the magnets. And there is the actual electronical, electrical unit itself. It is quite a bit smaller than the Sonoff, both in terms of the magnet and in terms of the electronics. I've not found, noticed this light indicating when the door is open or closed. So when you move the door, the magnet away from the sensor, it doesn't actually change or flash a light to indicate activity. However, these do seem to be working quite nicely in the places that I've already got them installed. So that is the sensor out of the box, ready to be paired with Home Assistant. So adding this device to Home Assistant is a simple process. Uh, we've gone into Home Assistant, gone down to Configuration, go to Integrations, 
we go to configure on ZHA and then we get this nice little add device button down here so we click on add device we make sure that the device is in pairing mode by pressing the button and then you can see there it pops up as a magnet sensor we can give it a name because this one I'm just renaming this one as a Kaira because I'm going to be replacing the sun off and that's it so we now go back and we go to devices and we can see we've got backdoor Akara and here you can see it's closed if I open it slightly it comes open closed everything closed and there you go it really is as easy as that so there we go, the device is unboxed and it's added to Home Assistant so we can then begin to use it in automations. I was excited to get these to replace the Sonoff devices out of the three that I bought. Only one of them works reliably. So far the Akara sensors have been working a lot better. Thank you very much for watching this video and if it's helped you in any way please like, subscribe and share. And I look forward to bringing you the next one.